Hello friends, I am Marisha and welcome to my creative diary. I hope you're having a great day. Today is the reveal, the unboxing of da -da -da -da! Spellbinders card kit of the month for March 2023 entitled Be Yourself. Oh my goodness. I'm excited about this one. But I don't know what's inside, but the bee right here gave it away. Be yourself. Yeah, it gave it away. So I got a feeling there's some bees on the inside. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at the back. <laughs> there's some bees on the inside. <laughs> if this is your first time checking out my unboxing of the card kits of the month, I want to welcome you. What I do is I will, well, first, I don't know what's in the package. I don't. Basically, I get the kits and I will unpack, unbox <laughs> the kits with you. So you and I will see the contents that are on the inside of the pouch together. And after that, I'm going to take a break. It'll be like 10, 15 minutes on my end. But for you, it'll be like maybe 0 0.065 seconds. <laughs> and then I'll come back and create three cards from the kit. If by chance you have any questions at all regarding the card kits of the month, I will assist you as best I can. So please leave your questions in the comment section below, or you can feel free to head on over to Spellbinders website. I will link their information below in the description box. All right, friends, let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing of the card kit of the month. Let's see. Oh. All right, so just like the other card kits, it includes a content sheet. And then on the back, which I love this, I really do, especially for new card makers, um, it gives you an insight on how to create a card, you know? So I really like that. So yeah, that's this on the back. And on the front, it includes the details of the contents that are in your card kit of the month. All right, so first we have eight cards and envelopes. So they are right here. Get your eight cards and envelopes. Um, 28 to four and a quarter by five and a half inch card panels. Oh, that's not it. Here they go. Let's see what colors are in here. And if you um, if you viewed the other card kits of the month uh, for January and February, all of them had A2 card panels. And I love this because it takes the guesswork out of cutting down panels. Um, yeah, so I love that. So the colors include, this is, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick up the color, but it includes a really pretty lavender color. So there's that. This is like a coral, a coral color. That's pretty as well. A lemon. That's a really pretty yellow too, very bright. If the camera isn't picking up, this is a bright yellow. Yep. This is like a forest green. That's really pretty. Really pretty color. And a light blue. So those are your card panels. You will receive 20, so four of each color. So yeah, four of each color. All right, next up is the pattern paper. All right, let's see what is in here for this month. Oh, these are gorgeous colors. I love the color palette on this pattern paper. The navy, the yellow, the purples. I love that. That's really pretty. I like that. Here's this wood planks. All 
look at that. Sorry if you hear Molly and Heaven in the background. They're just playing. This has little bees on it and honeycombs. That's really cute. I like that. This is yellow. Oh my goodness. I love the pattern paper that have the gold accents in them. That is so pretty. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but that is gorgeous. I love that. And the paper is one-sided, so yeah. This is a light purple with blue dots. Hope the camera is picking up that color. If not, it's light purple and blue dots. It's another floral pattern. Oh, I love this. I love backgrounds that have words, sentiments. I just, I love that. I really do. I love that. So this one reads golden, friendship, beautiful, moment, together, be happy, hello, special bunches of smiles. This is really cute. I like this. I wish I had an extra piece. <laughs> I love it. Like, this is really nice. I might make a card with this. I love it. Oh, look at this one. This has little bees with little star accent. Those, let me see. Can I get in there? Oh. Those are star accents, gold star accents, to be exact. That is so gorgeous. I love it. Look at this design. It has yellow, lavender, and light blue in it. That's pretty. Honeycomb, light pink. Oh, look at that, that's cute another gorgeous pattern paper oh this looks like confetti <laughs> I like this this wouldn't make a gorgeous card to background for a card oh I love the bees I love it look at that okay the pattern paper is pink a light pink little bees and then the little swirls are gold accents kudos spell binders for the gold accents on the papers. Oh, that is so pretty. There is nothing like a good piece of pattern paper, okay? From the design to the little accents. I love it. I love it. Oh, look at that. I like that yellow. Very springy. another one I think these are oranges yeah little oranges on here another honeycomb background oh look at this it has little hearts oh I like that all right so puffy banner stickers let's see puffy banner stickers oh this is it this must be it Okay, this must be the, okay, yes. So these are puffy banner stickers. It includes sweet, today is the day, this means so much, beautiful life, keep on being you, all smiles, make today amazing, a little bee, a little heart banner. That is cute. I love banners, especially when it comes to banners uh sentiments on my cards um yeah that's one accent i love to add to my cards are little banners so yeah that's cute oh be bright be you that's cute all right so these are the banner stickers included in the set all right and puffy stickers so these must be the regular puffy stickers i like this this is neat too great way to add sentiments to your cards so just be lovely you day remember hey together true and kind this day sweet life and happy 
I like this. Oh, and little hearts. Little puffy stickers. That's cute. So these are the puffy stickers included in the kit. Next up are chipboard embellishments. My fave. I love chipboard stickers, embellishments. I just love chipboard. Oh, look. Okay, so we got the little beehive. Couple of bees, a flower. Happy, sweet, beautiful. A few more banner sentiments. Love this. Be happy. Love you, honey. How sweet it is. This good life. Busy little bee. <laughs> Lovely wishes. Oh, and on the back. Oh, celebrate. Bunches of thanks. How sweet it is. Sweet little honey, because I love you. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice set. I like this. I like the beautiful. I think I'm going to do something with this, especially with the little beehive and the bees. That's cute. I like that. All right, so that is the chipboard embellishments. Uh, you will receive some sequins. These are cute. They're like a navy color. Really pretty. So yeah, some sequins. Uh, die cut shapes. Oh, the die cut shapes. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, let's see. Oh, buzzing about this. Oh, and there goes the little gold accent. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at the beehive. Oh, never stop being you. Oh, that's cute. You can check the little box. Oh, oh, more bees. Also, oh, instead of using the chipboard, you could use the die cuts. There are some tags. You can create some tags. Look at that. Add that right here. And add some more little embellishments right there. That's neat. I like that. Oh, more tags. Beautiful things will bloom. Add a little bee up here. This one's already done. So basically, you just add, you know, your little bee. That's it. Add some ribbon. Attach it to your gift or even a card. If you want to add tags to a card. Oh, a few sentiments. Lovely. There's hello. That's neat. Oh, this frame comes apart. Okay. Kind heart, brave spirit, gentle soul. I like that. That's a nice sentiment. Beautiful. There are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. Oh like this too that's cute oh there's some little flower arrangements clouds hello honey <laughs> I like that that's cute little bow there goes another banner I like that too beautiful moments oh and also, instead of using this set for card creations, maybe you can use it if you are a scrapbooker, a memory keeper. Um, yeah, just so many things. I like these little tags. Some more sentiments. Delightful, one fine day. There's a little tree. I'll celebrate every, oh, I like this. Celebrate every moment. There's a little cake. Oh, look at the heart. Because I love you. Oh, that's cute too. I love this set. This is a really nice set. Beautiful color palette with the navy and the lilac and the yellows. That's a really pretty color combo. 
I think I might have to create a card even outside of this kit using those colors. Beautiful colors. Happiness is here. Oh, look at the ticket. Blissful. That's really nice. Another sentiment. Oh, it's a little fox. Another tag. Oh, there's a rainbow. One thing I can say about these kits, they give you a generous amount of, of die cuts or cutouts. Um, the die cut shapes, you know, the, like you get a whole lot, especially last month's um, kit of the month. I was like, oh my goodness, it's so much in here. So yeah, uh, my, my heart belongs to you. That's cute. Oh, like this, like that, and then add like a B. I'm starting to get ideas. <laughs> Just like put the B right there and layer it. Okay, I'm putting this to the side. <laughs> I might do something with that. Oh, a little heart air, heart air, <laughs> hot air balloon. <laughs> That's cute. Sweet like honey. Oh, it's, it's so many things in here. There's some more little ephemera cutouts. This is a gorgeous set. I think I'm gonna take those out. I'm gonna start taking things out that um, oh, I like this. Keep on being you. Look at that. Look how shiny it is. This reminds me of Glimmer Hot Foil. But you don't have to worry about hot foiling. It's already ready for you. And then, of course, you will receive your foam squares and adhesive tape. Okay? All right. All right, guys, that's it. That concludes the unboxing of the card kit of the month. I'm now going to take a break while I <laughs> sift through everything and just see what I'm going to use to create three cards. So I'll be back momentarily and um, create those three cards. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back um, for our first card. I am going to use the chipboard stickers. So we're gonna use the beehive, the little bees. I'm going to use the pattern paper, which I cut it down to size. The card base included in the pack. I haven't decided which sentiment I'm going to use yet, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> and little honeycomb and I decided to use Spellbinders elliptical ovals and I cut it out of gold metallic cardstock and the cardstock that's included in well actually the card base yeah I love the texture these card bases are textured so I really like that so I decided to cut that out and what we're gonna do is we're gonna offset it just a little bit, like so. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but we're gonna get a little bit of gold accent on the card. We're gonna just slide it like that and just offset it. That way we can have a hint of gold accent. That is complete. Let's adhere this to the center, like so. And let's bring in our chipboard pieces. So we're gonna add the beehive right to the center, like that. Let's add this little bee up here like that. Okay, let's add that place this little guy on top 
All right, let's take some foam tape and add that to the back of the sentiment. All right, so let's add the sentiment to our card. I need to add a little bit of glue to the back of this to make sure it stays adhered to the back of that. And then for a final touch, I'm going to add a few little gold accents and then we'll be done with the first card. All right, card number one is complete. For the second card, I'm going to use elements from the die cutout pack, also the puffy stickers, and the, of course, the card base. I decided to also use the piece of blue cardstock from the uh, cardstock pack. And then for some texture, I decided to use Spellbinder's 3D Embossing Folder Flower Frenzy. So that's what we're gonna use to create this card. I love these colors. That's a pretty color combo. I love it. Now I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the card base. Let's place this right here. And then we're going to use the bouquet of flowers. We're going to put those behind like that. You can even cut cut the um cut them apart if you want. this under here like that. Okay, let's add this like this. Oh, I like that. This is different. Okay, remember, beautiful things will bloom. So now let's add some foam tape or foam to the back of the butterfly. Place this up here like so. All right, my friends, card number two is complete. For the last card, we are going to use a piece of pattern paper, which I already cut down. Um, I have a gold mat, which is already in my stash, and a piece of the purple cardstock that is included in this kit. We're also going to use some of the die cut shapes, and I'm going to use this frame from the chipboard embellishments. First, I'm going to adhere the pattern paper to the card base and this month's kit does not include a um, die add-on so that's just a heads up as well all right and then let's adhere this to our card position this right here. I'm going to position the elements on the card. Sentiment. Okay, let's add the little bird. Then let's add this little flower. And card number three is complete. 
All right, friends, I thank you so much for joining me on today for the unboxing and creation of three cards from the Card Kit of the Month for Spellbinders, March 2023, called Be Yourself. For more information regarding this card kit, click the link below in the description box. If you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you would please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join the Bell Rose community. Don't forget to like this video, please. It helps me out a lot. And leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out my blog at thediaryofbellrose.com. I am sending you love and a whole lot of hugs. Until next time, please take care.